how the Arrow finale just set up another major DC superhero. After eight seasons, this Tuesday saw the epic conclusion to Arrow, CW's DC show that arguably spawned the modern television superhero genre. And while the titular Arrow himself, Oliver Queen, had died during the epic crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths, though he did return as the Spectre, it seemed like a fitting time to bring the show to an end. But with each ending, there is a new beginning, as we were all told in the classic song, Closing Time. Specifically, the end of Arrow may have set up a future for another major DC Universe hero moving forward. So who was it, what happened, and what does it mean? Let's break it down, right? After the spoiler warning, because this episode of Nerdist News will get into the plot of the Arrow series finale, Fade Out. If you haven't seen it yet and complain about spoilers in the comments, we'll make you do a salmon ladder pull-up thing. But if you're sticking around, give us a like and subscribe. So what happened in the finale? Well, rightfully, it ties up a lot of storylines. Oliver's sacrifice brought peace to Star City, whose citizens are both celebrating the life of and mourning the loss of Oliver Queen, their hero. But what had fans buzzing the most is what happens for Oliver's BFF, John Diggle. In the finale, he's preparing to move to Metropolis, and just when he's packed up the moving van, something crashes out of the sky from space right at him. Now, getting blasted and thrown into a van might wreck most people's day, but not the Digglemeister. He dusts himself off and approaches the crater, finding a small box within. When he opens it, he's bathed in a green glow, which, if it is what everyone is presuming it is, a power ring, it seems that the Arrowverse has found its green lantern. Of course, it's never explicitly said, but it has to be a green power ring, right? The only other option of green thing crashing to Earth from space is that it's just a piece of kryptonite. To be fair, he is moving to Metropolis, so... Now, if Diggle is indeed a Green Lantern, many fans would consider it to be, oh, what's the technical phrase for it? About damn time. Previous crossover events like the aforementioned Crisis on Infinite Earths and Elseworlds have teased that Diggle is a Green Lantern in other universes, and now it seems that this newly combined post-crisis universe has minted him as well. Of course, this is a pretty huge piece of info to just drop in the finale for a different Green Hero show, so what does this mean? Well, the upcoming Warner Brothers streaming service, HBO Max, is developing a Green Lantern series that will focus on more than one Green Lantern, spanning decades of Green Lantern core history. Since Greg Berlanti is a creator on both Arrow and the upcoming Green Lantern show, it would be pretty easy to just plug Diggle into that new series. Another option is that with Diggle moving to Metropolis, he could easily become a part of the upcoming Superman and Lois series that was announced. And whether the green glow was a power ring or a chunk of kryptonite, that would certainly spice things up in Metropolis. Either way, DC has definitely learned the value of having their properties cross over on the small screen. Although nothing is confirmed yet, it's a safe bet to assume that John Diggle is now this universe's Green Lantern. It would definitely be a move welcomed by fans, and hey, they'll take anything to wash the taste out of their mouth of the universally reviled Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie from 2011. Hell, it's something even Ryan Reynolds would agree with, as we saw in the Deadpool 2 mid credit scene where Deadpool kills Ryan Reynolds before he can make that film. We'll just have to wait and see if something more comes from this or if it's just a cool Easter egg for the Arrow finale. But what do you folks think? Is John Diggle the new Green Lantern? Do you want him to show up in the upcoming Green Lantern show? And since Arrow is done, will they call it the Lanternverse now? Because be honest, Flashverse doesn't really roll off the tongue. Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.